previously. I'm Triff Gaming! Celebrate, oh celebrate! Today's the holiday. Grace the universe. Home guard. Six interruptions. A quest to greatness. The 15,000 subscribers. Oh yeah, it's true! Oh, it's true! It's damn true! Brace yourselves for the new Pendulum MTK. We're going straight into this right now. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's hit 15,000 and 100 by tomorrow. Enjoy the video. I am the best of the best of the best of the best of the best. Yo, bro, what do you think about my deck? I think it doesn't I matter what you think! For this FTK, you don't need like, oh, exact two cards. I need to draw exactly one three of in my deck and exactly one three of in my deck. It's any hand. It's called make a damn Electromite and win. That's literally the combo. But you do have to draw one of your nine gadgets. I will show the combo tutorial later. You play nine gadgets, draw one, and you auto win. For the sake of this video, and for the sake that, unfortunately, as much as it pains me to say, I do think most of my fan base is much smarter than a majority of the Yu Gi Oh! fan base. But half my fan base are idiots. So I'm gonna be doing it extremely slow for all of you guys to really catch on. Similar to my other eight negate video I made. Very slow, all my combo pieces are out of my deck. So pay close attention for this beautiful FTK and do the pen god proud and win every regional with it. Now is it, it, it as long as Electrum, as long as you hand trap the Electrum and don't hand trap my FTK, you auto win. Here it is. So. I put out the cards, you can have really anything you want, but for this video we're going to have two turbo cards. I'm going to show you how to do it with a good hand like this, and a bad hand later. You're going to have your fifth card, doesn't matter what it is, it really doesn't matter, it's just going to be there anyways. So the easiest way to do this combo, without guard, I'm going to show you how to do it without guard dragons, with guard dragons, and with uh, one turbo card. You play 21 turbo cards in the deck, you gotta play 21 commandments, but if you only draw one of the 21, and you need to normal summon to make your electrum, it's okay. You wanna save your normal summon for the gadget, but if you absolutely have to, there's another way to do it, I'll explain it later in the video. This is the most base way, I'll explain the rest later. Now, let's get into it, crazy new pendulum FTK. First things first, you use your shrine, get your dark worm, add your gate zero. Next, again, this could be any turbo card. You don't need the gate zero in your hand. It could be any turbo card. I just took these because they're the first ones I saw. There could be any turbo card you want. It don't matter. It could be a curtain razor and a chronograph. It doesn't matter. Next, Cerberus, you play 21. Dragon Ravine, etc., etc. Cerberus. And there's also another way to do the guard dragon combo even without Dark Worm. And I'll explain that later as well. Because I'm innovative. It's what we do. You get your boy Jackal. Jackal is special. Cerberus. Next, you go into Electro. Our boy, best card in the, I mean our girl, best card in the game. Send Harmonizing. At this point, if you already have access to Harmonizing, we'll see what this card is. This card's a gadget, we don't need it, doesn't matter. So this hand's doing it with two gadgets. We're doing this combo with two gadgets, keep that in mind. Because they brick, right? They brick, they don't brick. So, Electro said Harmo, just because we have access to it. You could simply pen call this, get a scale 8. And this oh, hand's like nice, like so you can it. even do this without yeah, setting a harmonizing, fucking, but set it anyways. Like if you get crazy hand trick, you just put up the gates anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Next, you're gonna pen, yeah, uh, no, we're gonna pop with gate, gate zero, we're gonna pop, to and we're gonna get literally anything we want, doesn't matter. Shrine was getting ash, so uh, they don't have ash, pen call's gonna resolve. You're gonna get, you're the jackal, it don't matter what you add, just add any random card in your hand. You draw a card, don't matter. What is it? It's Mike's. So it doesn't matter, but in the situation, oh no, this is this isn't this is my combo area. My bad. So you draw some card in your deck. So the terror. It doesn't matter what card it is. They're not part of the combo anyways. Whatever you draw at this point doesn't matter. It only makes your combo easier if you draw a combo card. Uh, next, you pen call one of the two cards you drew. So two, we have gadget and terraforming. We don't need another gadget, or we don't need. It doesn't matter. Just literally doesn't matter. You pen call whatever you don't want, and you get two scales. Both pendulum call. Now. If you don't have Dark Worm, if you did not open one of your 9 Dark Worms, or one of your 11, because Dark Worm counts as well as a Dark Worm, obviously, then instead of Oath Dragon, it's, you, you add the Harmonizing instead of the Jackal, so I'm showing you different variations of this, of this uh, uh, FTK. You add the Harmonizing instead of Jackal, so you get the Harmonizing, and instead of uh, Oath Dragon, Dragon Caller. What's Dragon Caller, Pen God? Well, let the Pen God tell you. So Dragon Caller simply makes any monster you control a dragon type, making guard dragons busted. You don't need to open a Dark Worm. You just get through your guard dragon combo regardless. 
At that point, you'd also you'd add a Harmonite instead of a Dragon Pit, keeping the level 7 in your deck, and then summoning out the level 7, doing the whole combo. But in this hand, in this hand, we already had access to everything, but I just wanted to show you the versions where you don't open Optimal, where you still have access to making stuff Dragons, even if you don't open the Dark Worm, even if you don't open Pen Call, whatever it may be. There's lots of variations to this where uh, it doesn't matter what hand you draw. I just wanted to draw, show you the optimal hand, and then in hands where you don't draw optimal, I'm showing you guys right there. In a situation where you needed to normal summon, let's see you had a random, no let's see you had to normal summon one of your magicians to make Electrum, and you didn't have a Cerberus, for example. Let's say this was, uh, uh, we don't play Bricks, by the way, so the, I was going to say, that what if this uh, Purple Poison, you don't play Bricks, so you're not normal summoning a Garnet. Instead, what you're doing, because literally, let me tell you guys, uh, Purple Poison, what's that do for you? Tell me. Tell me right now. Tell me right now. That's right. Nothing. No one talked because it did nothing. It literally says do nothing on it. So Jacko summoned it. Uh, so here, if Jacko was Curtain Razor, for example. You use your normal summon. You go into Electrum. You send when you need an extra summon at this point because the combo revolves around gadgets summoning itself a lot. So you send Symphonic Warrior Mics. This card, when it gets summoned, get your free summon, normal summon for that turn. Broken. Broken. A free summon, which means you're gonna be able to normal summon a gadget, you're gonna be able to extra summon a gadget, you're gonna be able to pendulum summon a gadget, and you're gonna be able to summon the uh, the auto win cyber sign at the very end. If you want to save a normal summon, let's so say you have to use your normal summon for a pendulum summon for electro. So you can't normal summon now, you pendulum summon a gadget, you get this for extra normal summon, you normal summon the extra get the other gadget, you need two gadgets on board, you can get cyber sign, so you just bring on cyber sign, you win. So it doesn't matter what the situation is, you're always set by playing smart cards in your deck. Now we're going to go back to the original play, where we, or the original hand we open. Oak's going to add harmonizing, and for the noobs that still don't understand this, even though you're watching the Pen Gods channel, when you Pendulum Call, let me read Pendulum Call out loud for you guys, very slowly. Discard one card. Add to blah, 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 blah. Here it is. After this card resolves, A A F T E R. After this card resolves, your magician M A G I C I A N can't be destroyed. So if Electrum pops to gate zero. I guess still pendulum call. Let's read the other part of the effect. You cannot activate this card if you activated a magician's pendulum effect this turn, which means. That if I already use Pendulum Call, I could use all the Magician effects I want. This is for the noobs that watch my videos. You're welcome. You just got taught by the Pen God. You're graced. Now, we added Harmonizing. We're now going to go to our Pendulum Summon. You want to summon the Dark Worm here. The Gate Zero there. The Harmonizing right there. And the red gadget right there. Activate the effect of harmonizing and the gadget. Summoning out the other level 7 because you play 2. You don't got to play bricks in your deck. Gadgets aren't bricks. They give you lots of free cards. Get yourself another gadget. Now, the next part of the combo. We have access to uh, our dragon. So we don't need to put dragon caller here. We also have access to... Let me show you another combo here. If you don't want to send this. I'm going to show you another combo here, even an easier combo if you don't want to play uh, Guard Dragons in your deck. So if you don't want to play Guard Dragons, you want to save slots in your extra deck. It's, honestly, this is my preferred version as well. You summon a Time Gazer. Now this is where you go, where, you, where the combo is really amazing. Now, at this point, if you want to play around Hand Traps, I'll show you how to do that later. The most base version, the, for the most people to understand the easiest, you summon this. Summon these two, Harmo Gazer. Boom. You go into Saryuja. You don't need to go with four materials. You only need it for the free sub uh, for the free special summon. This is assuming you don't you don't need guard dragons for the combo. Next, you go into power tool dragon. Power tool dragon effect. Reveal these three. If you're scared for hand traps, you go into the guard dragon place first. That way, you're gonna have vortex to protect you. But just for the noobs, just the most basic easy combo how to do it and i'll show you how to play around hand traps after this is just for the easy easiest way power to reveal these three pick one to your hand your opponent only picks one obviously you get one for sure next you use saryuja's effect to special summon a gadget 
gadget effect. Get yourself another gadget. Nice free cards, right? Next, you go into Gear Gigants. You're at 10%. Your day, babe. You think it's over 10 minutes? Yeah. Make this fast. Gear Gigant. Get yourself Cyberstein. At this point, you did not use your normal summon yet. Hey, look at all the pluses. You use your normal summon now. Summoning Cyberstein to this area right here. Next, you are going to activate this card, allowing you now to fusion summon as much as you want without paying anything. At this point, you're going to summon. Let's see, you can literally do whatever you want. You win. Oh, sorry, you need to do a Reprodocus first because you got to make this a psychic. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the... We're going to take these. Put a Reprodocus right there. Now making this a uh, psychic. Next, you're going to take these and make a Metaltron. You're going to put the Metaltron over here. You are now going to summon... You are going to put this here. Allowing this to sum allowing Cybersight to summon as many fusions as you want from your extra deck without paying cost. So now you don't pay 5,000 and it's not a hard once per turn. So at this point, you're going to summon Autoin. Uh, Autoin. And you're going to summon a Macabre over here. Just to link these, any fusion. To link these one more time to make some space into your last Saryuja. You don't need the normal, you don't need nothing, you just need the arrows. Next, you're going to summon a Vortex, and you're going to summon this. You now have, let's count, triple math time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You got nine cards on the field. The effect of our boy, Blaze Phoenix, the whatever auto win dragon here, says... Uh, actually, what does it do? Okay, so for every card you control, inflict 300 damage to your opponent. 9 times 300. Hey, Triff Math, yo, what's 9 times 300, bro? What's 9 times 300? It's auto win. And then you multiply it by 3, that's 8,100. 8,100. How much life points does your opponent have, Peter? 8K. 8K. Which means you win. So you're welcome. You got yourself a pendulum empty K over here. Now, what happens? Oh, what if they uh, impermanence the cyber side? What if they know what you're playing and they don't, for some reason, in God's earth, don't uh, impermanence the electro? Well, I'll show you guys. We're going to take this combo a little bit back. To show you guys how to play around the hand traps for the more experienced players. All right, so I showed you guys the most simple way to do it for the noobs, just in case you don't want to uh, overcomplicate your thinking, and you can master the other way later. If you want to educate them, do the way I just showed you. Now this is like the more so the simple way. Uh, now for the more for the other way where it's like it's better against hand traps in case they hand trap you, you can still put up in the gates. Is this right here? So uh, Harmon is going to bring out a level. F oh, oops. It's going to bring out a level 4, just in case you get uh, hand trapped. Uh, if you get hand trapped, uh, you can't do the FTK, instead you just put up in the gates, which is obviously what you want to look out for, right? So what you do at this point, you're still going to do the FTK if they don't have hand traps at the right time. But they're going to hand trap the Electrum. If they hand trap the Electrum, you literally have two cards that you're not using in this combo. So you have two cards that you're not using in the combo. This is a Destrudo, this is a Dragon Ravine, or like whatever, or it could have been a level 4. You have two cards you're not using in the combo, where two cards, if, you, if your Electrum got hand trapped, these two cards would have result in, in uh, the same thing. So for example, if your Shrine got Ashed, you're getting a Ravine and, and discarding that, like literally doing the exact same thing. So even if you, they had Ashed, this combo worked through Ash, it worked through lots of hand traps, even Electrum got Valored, everything. Another thing to note uh, before you get started on this one is if you don't have access to Dark Worm, you play 12, 11 ways to go into Dark Worm, you, send, uh, you get this in your scale uh, instead, and this makes whatever you want to drag in. Also, if you are you made your Electrum without Normal Summon, you send this to get your Normal Summon and you still got the combo. So no matter what, you got the combo. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do it. If, let's say you don't have access to Gazer or whatever, for whatever reason, you just want to play around Hand Traps. So the main reason. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to go with, with Dark Worm. We're going to go into LP. This is how you play around Hand Traps. Yes, I know they can Hand Trap this, but at least it means you can now have got a, uh, a normal Pendulum board to make plays with. Next. You're gonna go into a triple burst dragon. Activate the effect of LP to summon Distrudo from your deck. At this point, if they're ever gonna hand trap you, at this point, not the hand trapping Electrum or nothing, they obviously have to hit LP. And if they do that, you get at the very least put up negates on board. You put up two negates at this point if they do anything, which is better than nothing. Uh, if they, uh, which is better than the zero if they were to hit you uh, earlier. So this, but again, if they don't don't have a, if they didn't hand trap you already, they're not, if they didn't hand trap your Electrum, they're not hand trapping you at this point. If the Shrine didn't get hatched, if Electrum didn't get hand trapped, you're not getting hand trapped at this point. So you're safe anyways. Next, you're going to summon the Distrudo. The Distrudo and the Burst are now going to go into 
Uh, Agar Pain. Agar Pain is gonna bring a Vortex. At this point, you are obviously safe. If they hit the Vortex, if they hit the Agar Pain, you're still fine. You got multiple negates anyways, like I said. So just the best, just in case anything got hand trap, uh, to still have hand trap or still have negates in case hand trap you. Next, you are now gonna go into Saryudra with these. The same way in the last combo, but you're getting free cards on board. So if you're playing in a, a real a tournament, this is the best way to do it with the guard dragons. To ensure that even though they hand trap you at this point, even if Electro got hand trap, you still got negates on board. And your pluses, which you're getting from the gadgets, will win next. Will will make sure next turn you're gonna OTK or FTK them. So these are gonna go into uh, Saryuja. Not to not to draw, not to draw. Saryuja is just there to. Uh, just uh, get a free special summon. Now we're gonna use the pseudo effect from my graveyard to go into uh, to go into power tool dragon. And where is this? And now power tool dragon is going to. Where do we put this? There's a specific area we need to put everything. So let me just. Uh, we're gonna put the Saryuja here. And the power tool there. There we go. Now power tool is gonna show them, show them three of these. You get the, you get one automatically. You're gonna use Saryuja special summon the special the yellow gadget, giving you a green gadget. And what I love about the gadget, the second you get one, you get them all eventually. They're never ending pluses, especially with normal summon, pendulum summon, etc., etc. Gear Gigant is gonna get you. Cyberstein. At this point, you're going to use your actual normal summon to normal the Cyberstein. You are now gonna use uh, Girgi and Saryuja to go into uh, Reprodocus. Reprodocus making Cyberstein a psychic, activating this. Now you can summon as many fusions as you want. Next, you're gonna go into Metaltron with these two to make some Link Zones. Metaltron now is gonna special. Like I said, like you always got Hunter was the best way to play around it. Summon one, one of these there. Summon another. Macabre just there for a random fusion to link with. And with these two, you go into your second Saryuja, which you go into because you can't use any of its effects. Summoning, giving out your zones for the last two, nine in total, that's 8,100 damage. So yes, actually is tight, but that's why the side deck, which I'm gonna show you in the later video, I'm gonna show the whole combo, uh, the deck profile, everything. In the side deck, we pretty much side deck the going second extra deck cards, like bo the boil cards, Yazis, to make sure that it doesn't matter. So going first or second, you obliterate your opponent. This deck's absolutely nuts. I'm so happy that I made this, it's actually amazing. And uh, it could be even better, to be honest. The Macabre could have been another burn card, where if you only have eight cards, you still hit them. There's definitely other ways to improve this deck, but as of right now, it, it, it's amazing. It's honestly amazing. They're hand-trapping your Electro, they're not hand-trapping your board. They don't know what you're playing. They think you're gonna end on normal two negate Pendulum. So at that point, you have two free cards to play with. And even if you summon Pendulum summon three or four cards, even if you Pendulum summon three monsters, the Guard Dragon still lets you do this whole entire combo. So. That's a deck. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a great time making it. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to check out my beautiful trick game play mat in the description below. And check out my sponsor in the description, Game Nation. He's Pengal 5 I hope you guys like this video. See you next video. Peace!